Good evening, my spireish fellows. If it isn't time for some spire, I'm seeing low low scores because this is defect without any good starting opportunity, which means defect is going to have a sad time in Act One, and which is why the scores are not high. See, the computer gets fourteen thirty-five. That's a good score to strive for. Heirloom could be anything. It's probably nothing good based on the scores being in the fourteen hundreds. Colorless cards is great fun. Do I take rares? If I take rares and get more points because of it, that sounds clever. I've got more money to spend on them. And if I'm getting colorless cards as well, Highlander, if you go Highlander, it's usually okay to take rares, but equally colorless cards means you don't have to, but colorless rares are really good, so... Whatever, I'll play it by ear. That's the, uh... That's what people say. I'll play it by ear. I see three elites. My ears are happy to see those. Three... Three big fellows. Big strong gentlemen. One big strong shop after three question rooms. That all contain money. Can I have all of the money? <coughs> Is that allowed? Who's at the top? Slime boss. Okay, so charge battery and leap are both really strong. Um, I think charge battery is better in a vacuum, but leap is oh, leap is really good in Act One. <laughs> I'm going to take a leap of faith. No, hang on. If with charge battery, I can play an extra defend on the following turn. It's it's just better in a vacuum. Oh yes. That is perfect. Oh. What are you doing here? Right. So I'm going to buy um One, two, three, four, five cards. And then I'm going to leave because I don't want those relics on my defect. I'm going to go to the next shop and buy the relic there instead, which will be something like a membership card. I mean, I would like that to be what it is, but cannot guarantee such an outcome. <coughs> Auto shields! That's a really sexy card to have in Act 1. So it's called Snap, let's be honest, but I'm gonna take the auto shields. And the shop man is gonna sell a runic capacitor. Hmm. If I buy that, I can't afford the storm. But, let's see, I have a hologram already. <coughs> what else was available? A strawberry. Do I feel like this is Orb Day? Is this Orb Friday? Um, sweeping Beam or Turbo? I have a hologram, so turbo suddenly becomes quite valuable. Okay, let's take it. Okay, so... Despite my best efforts... I am gonna take damage in this elite fight. Kinda sad, but... I do have auto shields. Maybe the fusion was a poor choice to buy. It's not very useful in an Act 1 compared to the other cards I bought. <coughs> and I don't need Capacitor anymore either. I think I could have been clever in those shops and maybe had a bit of a chance. But at the same time, this ain't bad. And if I got Frozen Core, I'd be getting pretty reliable defense from the Capacitors.
Oh, I could have attacked and didn't. How dumb. I wasn't counting. Le Buto, le cool headed, le inability to smith things, of course. That's a huge downside for the defect, because the defect's cards aren't very good unless they're smithed. Fine, then I'm going to get rid of a strike. That will make my deck stronger, because it just will. It just stands to reason. If I'm drawing more of the things that aren't bad, I will draw more of the things that are good. I could get a madness or a charge battery or even a free good instinct. It's... Nothing's expensive enough to merit madness though, so let's not take it. Madness is for like creating zany infinites and that ain't happening. Fossilized helix is for being an absolute beast. Except in this situation where regret comes to play. Yeah, it really is Orb, Orb Tuesday. No, Orb Wednesday. My apologies, it's not actually Tuesday. Good old Orb. Or Wednesday. Heat sinks and cold snap. Cold snap is more useful in Act 1. Especially if you're against things like this fellow. Whoops. I was going to hit with that. But I guess I'm not smart enough. Tempest. To go with my million orb slots. That sounds like a fun idea. I defend this time. Oh, yeah. I say defend. I can defend and defend. That's even better. <coughs> Playing turbo that early is a bit of a shenanigan, but it's fine. Hopefully I'll be able to get my fusion out and make up for it. Yeah, the conservative use of Tempest. Just have lots of lightning all the time and be awesome. And also, the idiot use of Regret. Draw Regret and be sad. Let's think about how to use our tools more violently. Okay, now regret won't bother me. And why should it? I have all of the lightning. I 
Ouch. Bombified hand. That's nice to have. I don't need the rare cards yet, and I'm, I'm, I'm still on track. That's quite fun. I'm not getting a C to score, because I've already failed to perfect one elite, but I might get a I might get a David score. That would be nice. Who's at the top? Slime boss, of course. Yeah, I seldom fear slime boss. They aren't <coughs> a font of danger. They are a font of slime. Completely different. Oh my god. Welcome to Orb Wednesday, we have orbs. I'm glad I didn't take Leap earlier, because now I can take it here without ruining my deck. I can get rid of another strike. Oh, it's going well. Early, early Peace Pipe is actually really good on defect. I am willing to agree to these things. Aha. Uh -huh. That's quite annoying. If I hadn't drawn regret just there. If Regret hadn't been on the table, that would have been a nice time. But Regret was on the table, and it thus became not a nice time. Now Regret is off the table, I think. Good. No damage. And now you're going to take some damage. I don't have Electrodynamics. That would be quite useful, although I don't think it... Again, I feel like rares haven't been necessary just yet. They're close to being necessary. But if I can do without them, I certainly will. But if, electro if Electrodynamics shows up, I'm taking it. Even if I get rid of it later, I can! Because I have Peace Pipe, I should, I should take rares, so that I can get rid of them later. Perfect. Now I just need more frost. I mean, in general, not this fight. In this fight, this fight is already over, practically. The deck could just use some frost, so that my attack, attack can become absurd. So, right, I could take any of these and they would all be val val valuable. Let's take Bias Cognition because it's, this is the orbish, orbist of decks and let's take Fusion Hammer because that changes literally nothing. I already can't smith. There's one path again that has three elites, so that's, I guess, where I go. You 
poor creatures have made the mistake of coming to fight me, and I've made the mistake of throwing out all my strikes, so I have barely any cards that, any cards that hurt things. But that's fine. Because the cards I have that do hurt things hurt them a lot. I feel like these people are going to be hurt a substantial amount. That fits. That fits the orb strategy. I'd like to be doing uh, collector and getting more than one of them, but I think Highlander today seems sensible enough for the the mighty orb, Orbus strate strategus, Orbus powerfulus. Orbus Sadus. Orbus could be better us if I had played cards better us. Oh, everyone died, lol. Oh, I'd like that, honestly. Why upgrade cards? Well, I can just buy a, be a better one. Ooh, ooh. Uh, bet on, bet on the owner. No. So one of these, one of these. Definitely. That's good too. And now I'm gonna get rid of the sad turbo. And purchase the block potion. Was there anything else? Nah. Explosion's fine on this floor. There are gremlins that I have to deal with, in all likelihood. Silly chosen. I have chosen for you to be struck by lightning about 50 times. Between the two of us, my choice is going to come out a little better. Ooh, that fits this floor to the now, I did get rid of the explosion potion, but I like skill better for this particular situation. And I have also just acquired something absolutely tremendous. A doom and gloom to use on gremlin wizards. Nine times three. That is some. That's certainly some that I don't want to have to deal with. But get this, I don't have to have to deal with it. So now gremlins are going to shoot st stuff at me, but I'm going to kill them. Now there are no gremlins. And the big, the big black orbs are ready to play. Are you ready to play with my big black orbs? I don't think you are. Do I have a darkness in that? I do as well. <coughs> I realise, of course, that I have made an error of sorts. A, a 
of sorts. Oh, that was an error of hugeness. Resolved. Damn, if I've done a bit more, I wouldn't have needed that potion. I like ceramic fish in a Midas run. That sounds like fun. I love chill for this defect. I want to upgrade it, but I know that won't be easy. And this... This upgraded darkness is just deeply entertaining. Entertaining in very entertaining ways. Taking damage isn't nice though. I wish I didn't have to do that. Oopsie. Oopsie dupsie. Let's try this fight again, but not die. I like all of these. Uh, I think go for the eyes is the strongest, though. Obtain a special relic or transform two cards. I think... I do like the special relic here. And if I transform cards, I could lose my Highlander bonus. Let's take the special relic, if only because it gives me a relic, which is useful. Meat on the bone is tremendously useful. Shopman, at just the right time. Selling an apotheosis. I had been waiting for such a thing. And a core surge, I had been waiting for such a thing. And a self-repair honestly helps. And do I take... The thing is, now I've got rare cards in my deck. Three of them. Am I going to encounter enough campfires and remove them in reverse order? Or do I just go all in, get even more rare cards, and laugh my way to victory? The latter choice does sound like a lot more fun. But equally, I can just give them a rare card here. Ew, that's funny. I kind of want the core surge by ice condition combination, but I don't need it. That's that's fair. That's like that's like buying a mango or a pear. Pear, not mango.
Yes. That looked pretty fatal. Recalcum <coughs> works. Genetic algorithm. I took the go for the eyes, did I? I did. Let's take the genetic algorithm. The cultists are going to die a horrible death. Silly cultists. You can't fight me. Hologram sweeping beam. Neither. Duplication potion, definitely. Sad, because they're all quite good cards, but Highlander is the, na the aim of the game today. Typical. Death. Death, I tell you. Death. Interesting start. Whoops. Maybe I should have played Fusion last. I'm sure it's fine. No harm will come of it. Oh no, not harm.
quite. So I need to drink the Bex Potion too. It's not a problem really. It just seems like a reasonable thing to do in a situation like this. <coughs> Whoops. That was meant to be cooler. Oh well. Reality is slightly different. The result will be the same. All your favourite orbs on Orb Wednesday. Ah, the beautiful colours. I am thrilled by them. Well, that's no good. Twenty-four incoming and not a defense between me. Okay, maybe I have some defense. Maybe hope is not lost. I need to draw a dual cast like that. And then I need to murderize you. If not with the power of darkness, then with the power of fists. Perfect. Oh, there's an electrodynamics. Does that help in Act 3, though? Uh, I'm actually fine. I'm going to do without them for now. I'm going to take Slaver's Collar because energy is the most important thing for this kind of nonsense. If I peer into the future, how many campfires are there? Oh, several. So I can remove one right at the last minute. I can try and get other curses. I can go for that pile of question rooms. That sounds like fun. But I'd be missing a shop if I did that. Let's go. No, I wouldn't. There's a pile of question rooms and a shop. It was just on a bit of a janky path. Let's go. What a fun run. I am thrilled and filled with vague enjoyment. Offensive tool. Offensive tools, plural. The best tool. Um, more tools. 
Drink juice. Get tools. I don't think it's likely that I'm going to get four unique curses in this chapter. It just doesn't seem likely. Good. I could take that. I could take that too. I don't need that. Your friend. By which I mean someone who's going to die. Centennial puzzle is interesting and makes me not want to remove my regret. Wait, regret doesn't synergize with it. No. Don't know how useful that is. Let's have it. That was a question room in a place. Oh my goodness, that's a bag of preparation. That's pretty strong. That's Writhe. One of the additional unique curses that I I wasn't ever why would I take that? Oh whatever. Let's get rid of bias cognition here. Well, that's certainly some relics. Golly G, welcome to Orb Wednesday. G golly gosh. G whiz.
This doesn't seem safe. Maybe I should have drunk the focus potion. Or maybe I'm fine. Maybe I'm just God. God tier. That is Mr. God tier to you. Mr. Nathaniel God Tear. And now I have to drink this anyway. That's chill. This is not the official way to kill Giant Head, I think. This is the non-canon way for Giant Head to die. Oh, there's some cool stuff. Do I not already have a Jack of All Trades? I do. Do I want a buffer? Of course I do. But I also want to get rid of my apotheosis at the campfire and pray for mercy from the, the Time God. Chemical X. Do I take a claw? No, not really. Ooh, I take a panic button. That sounds like fun. Let's remove the grad. Now I can use the apotheosis to get rid of the other guys. I could remove the writhe as well. But I'm going to remove the apotheosis, I'm afraid. That's that's how the crumble cookies, I'm afraid. It does not get to stay. Let's take claw just for the sheer shenanigans of it. And buy those, why not? There are very few situations where it's bad to buy those relics. And I'm sure I'll encounter all of them. I know who I am. I know what I do. I know what my, my skills are. My skills are to find the worst situation and manifest them. Picture the worst situation in your head and manifest it. And... You will be a David too. Oh. Now that is beautiful. Worst for my enemies, perhaps. That is deeply sexy. Can I have a real deep breath? Instead of the fake one that you keep giving me? Oh yes, the boot! The boot which I got really, really early and it hasn't done anything this whole time and now it's actually found an enemy where it's useful. Hooray! You still die. <coughs> you die more than most, I'll be honest. The level of death that you are experiencing today is definitely up there. Go for the eyes, swift strike. I can just keep hitting you. And it doesn't matter how weak my hits are because... They're more strong than other people's hits would be, and that gives me joy. Four times three, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you just die, actually, don't you? Maths. Liquid memories. I don't know. Yes, okay, better than duplication potion, sure. Double index potion, I'm sure. Do I have a madness? I do not. Do I not? Oh sure I had a madness. I do not have a madness. Let's have a madness. Where did I get a madness from then? Or was it an enlightenment I played? I mean an upgraded madness is in a completely different ballpark to the unupgraded madness. In a different universe.
I'm pretty universal myself, aren't I? Although, I feel like I will lose something if I get rid of the uh, Apotheosis Barrage. Aha! I'm actually... I actually think both of those are good. You can't give me the curses I need, so you're just going to die instead. That was a mistake. So how am I going to get past Time Eater without any rare cards, or any, even any good cards? <laughs> what a question. I could use Dark Orbs. I've got an upgraded Darkness, that could be pretty damn useful, honestly. I also have the best potions I could get. Hopefully gonna get something really cool like Echo Form out of my power potion and then use that to end the life of Time Eater. I've also managed to upgrade my uh, genetic algorithm pretty substantially. And Barrage is a legitimate choice as well. There's an upgraded Barrage. There's Dark Shackles, that's actually an anti-Time Eater card right there. One of the few that is guaranteed to help in that fight. <coughs> now, card types. No more apotheosis. Goodbye, my friend. So the best two cards I could possibly have got. Both were available to me. Although, Echo Form isn't perfect against this guy. Okay, that's you timed up. I think I'm good though, because I play this twice, and I play that twice. Play this once, play that once, play this once. I'm more than okay. Good. Oh, I'm not going fast enough. Okay, now that I have a, a strategy of a sort, time to win.
Okay, now you're gonna transform. I'm running out of time. I'm gonna run out of time. I want to do it, but fast. How do I make it happen, but fast? Whoops. That was the wrong one. <laughs> Maybe this is how I make it happen, but fast. No. But it's close. I think it's really silly. And it's going to be silly and close. And very soon it'll be so silly and so close that... Poor Time Boy won't know what hit him. Creative AI was genuinely the other fantastic choice that I could have made. I have a stack in the discard pile. Oh, heat sinks. The numbers changed. Halla freaking Luya. Somebody's gonna get sunk, I'm afraid. Oh, is that another bias cognition? I see. Do you think you might be in over your head, my good my good time friend? I think you might be. That's a shame. Well, he's gonna transform now, or die. We'll s we'll find out which. I think I can guess which. Faster. I'm not going fast enough. I need to do something even sillier. Something even more zany and even more... Even I need to use even fewer of my brain cells to get the result I want.
the fewest. Oh, that's pretty few. That's less brain cells than I've seen in a while, actually. Yeah, that doesn't look like a pleasant time. It's getting better. time and boy was it a massacre there you go top score could have been better but <laughs> you tell me how it could have been better because I don't want to think about it ha, that's pretty pretty decent yeah these people might have had legitimate scores they probably did something shenanigans I'd love to know what it was I'll see you all tomorrow. No, actually, I won't. No, I will. I've No, I won't. I've got a barbecue. How sad. Not for me, because I've got a barbecue.